And it looks like Matsuyama and Shida will be the opponents. We're actually covering their match against Lee and Teng later on this morning. Not afternoon, it will be by then. But first, it's uh, this match. Ranked 15 in the world, the Japanese pair. One of my favourite songs, Trevor, uh, from Metallica, Nothing Else Matters. I wonder how much you can apply uh, that phrase to some of these performances. Well, nothing else matters to these Danish fans than cheering on these two in the next uh, hour or so. Guaranteed to have maximum crowd support. Malcolm and Sarah. And actually, on the rankings, there are only five spots below their opponents. They've had a decent year, actually, for Danes. With the performance in the Euros and US Open. More recently, I was uh, I was impressed out there. the one previous meeting which uh, the Japanese pair won in two close match uh, two close games round of 32 at the high low open a couple of years ago 24 years of age Rini Wenger they've been uh, runner-up in a couple of world tour events this pair most notably that high low open it's a super 500 then in 2021 and they also won a silver at the Asian Championships last year. Three years older than a partner, Ki Nakanishi. And as you saw there, they're at their highest ranking ever. Got a buy in the first round. They're ranked at 20 in the world, the Danish pair. Have previously been up at 14, so... On paper, there's not a great deal to choose between these two. They were at the Olympics, lost in the group stage. But a pretty experienced pair. Tugerson, there, as you see, 32. Krogaard's uh, 28. And they've also made a couple of World Tour finals, Indonesia Masters, three years ago. And then early this year, they lost in the final of the US Open. Got past the Canadians, Choi and Wu, with no real alarms. Kamasha Robertson-Martins in the chair. Ready to play. Emmanuel Habotsile of Botswana. Is the chair is the uh, service judge.
Let's wait then for the umpire introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Mike Nkrogwa and Sarah Kozgen, Denmark. And on my left, Rin Iwanaga and Kia Nakanishi, Japan. Sarah Tuzan to, to serve to Kia Nakanishi. Love all. Play. Every point they win is going to get you into the rafters here. thought they'd won the point, they hadn't realised it was a service fault for serving too high. crowd support can work for you especially when you know, there's not massive amount of pressure on for a garden to us because they're, they're not favorites to win this match they're clear underdogs so they're coming in with you know not massive amount to lose I think they'll feel like they've got uh, a lot to prove a big point to prove uh, the Danish pair and yeah playing on home soil as well to do it in front of their their nation, their team, badminton Denmark watching, you know, everybody from the higher tranches of, uh, of the organisation watching on. They want to perform here. It's going to be tough. I think the conditions could play quite a big part. These Japanese pairs, I mean, there's five inside the top 15. That's a third of the top 15, the Japanese, this being the fifth ranked. And... Um, I think the style of the game will determine a lot of the outcome. Quite aggressive from that side, the Japanese. Three, all. They are uh, reasonably level in the rankings. You know, like you said, Trevor, five places between them. But some of their bigger performances, some of their bigger ranking point wins, the Danes, have come when it's, for example, the European Games or the US Open, where the world's very best aren't all there. And, uh, you know, you can only beat who's in front of you. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's, it, it's great that they're up there. But as an example, Four, three. one of the recent good results I was following for the Japanese pair, they came through the round of 32 against Pearly Tan and Tina Muradutharan in Singapore. They then had to beat Apriani, Rahayu and Ramadanti uh, in the round of 16. They're then facing Zhang Xuxian and Zheng Yu of China, who were the third seeds in the quarterfinals, and that was dead close. Yeah. That's the standard that the Japanese pair have come up against time and time again. Just long. Didn't read that at all, did they, uh, Iwangar or Nakanishi? Five, four. Frugord's actually got a terrific backhand and plenty of pace, power, that short action technique she's got. And I think the Japanese are aware of it and were stepping back in court expecting 
something firm. Service over. Good rally, it's going wide though. She's doing a good job at the net, isn't she, Iwanga, in terms of the depth of those, a couple of the backhand lifts in that last point. Forcing the Danes to play from the service line. Oh, good finish. For a guard, really pushing forward, Service sensing the gap. Six balls, six balls. Yeah, covered that um, mid forecourt area really well. This cutout was good. They look up for it, don't they, for sure? Seven, Certainly getting... Six. And we're now going to issue a few problems early on here. <laughs> Two well-placed shots set up the kill. An unusual service technique for a guard, but it's, uh, it's been effective so far, isn't it? It's almost like she's turning a steering wheel. <laughs> she serves. Play. Must be hard, I would have thought, to maintain consistency. Well, watch it here. Yep. Good. Good shot again. Oh, tries around the back. They are putting the Japanese under pressure, though, aren't they, the Danes here in the early stages? Nine, seven. in particular has been really proactive. Yeah, they've been the more assertive, haven't they? Sighted, missed time, I'm not sure. Did she decide to uh, try and leave this? No, oh, she just <laughs> a clean <laughs> miss. That would have been some deception if she'd have meant it. <laughs>
Missed it by a fraction. So, narrowest of advantages for Fruegard and to as soon as they head for the one minute interval. Ja. Du skal lade være med at vælge hårdt smash opad eller lige forrest. Så bare fik den ned i midten igen, hvis du kan. Det kan du godt. Ja. Ja, godt. Lidt omvendt for dig her, det er, når vi kommer fra foran for lower ground det her. her. Find den simple nedad. Okay? Keep it simple was a uh, message from the Danish coaching staff, and I actually think they have been pretty much for the first, what, 10 minutes or so. Yeah, I heard them talking there about um, attacking, the attacking strategies, keep it down, get it down as early as possible. So uh, an aggressive approach by the Danes and that's um, been clear to see so far. Nice from Nakanishi pushing net. Wow, brilliant. I like the way women's doubles has evolved in, say, 10 years or so. It used to be very um, neutral and defensive and longer rallies, clears and yeah. drop shots. Um, nowadays, that's almost all gone. Everyone's really pushing that attack. Saved by Tursen. Wow, what a rally. What a rally, and they did brilliantly to win it because they were second best for most of it. Great defence from Fruegard in particular in the early part of that point. Longest rally we've seen as well. Yeah. 
just wide, I think, from Tillerson. Well, that was ambitious. From Magen Frugard. We've been playing for a quarter of an hour, and the message that we take from the Danish pair is that they're not going to be bullied out of this. They look like the bullies, actually. Yeah, I mean, they're taking it to the seeded pair. Yeah. challenge just missed the racket didn't it she almost cut that out Maybe a, a few more mistakes than we'd expect from the Japanese pair, Minaga and Naganishi. Yeah, it's very unusual to, to see, actually. That, it's rare, isn't it? We watch so many of the top Japanese pairs that are so con, uh, conservative and consistent. Strapping on the left uh, calf muscle, isn't there, for Michael Frugard, where a uh, compression sock. Yeah. I guess I'm. She doesn't seem to be having any mobility issues. Precautionary, perhaps. Rally to win. Feathers falling off the shuttle. like a game of chess. Nakanishi goes wide. That was a big point. Thank 
Yeah, more feathers falling off the shuttle as well. I wonder whether that just misguided the true trajectory. Another unforced error, though, really. She was in position there. Fergus rally of the match. repelled so much of what's been thrown at her so far, Michael Frugard. That time, just too much to withstand. She put it back in the corner of the left-hander, gave her quite enough time to pick her place. It's difficult when you've got a right and left-handed opponent. The uh, instinctive reaction in defence then becomes a silly mistake almost. It, you haven't got time to think, you know. And you just whip it straight back out to the forehand of someone and you're like, oh no, what have I done? Wonderful for a time from the Danish. What about that defence, though? Well, it was flat-out defence, wasn't it? They were really being extended. Nice shot. She's downed. Anything down that side of the court would have put them in a real good place to win that rally. Utter frustration from Tuisson. They're coming on strong at the business end now. The Japanese pair. To the court, please. Oh. He doesn't seem very happy, does he? Once again, neither pair particularly keen to get on with it. 1916, though, a couple of points away for the Japanese. That might be the biggest round of applause of the whole match so far for that point. In position again. I think if there was a stat about errors, I think we mentioned it the other day, unforced errors, this would be up there for... Uh, if, they had, if every pair had a ratio of their percentage or something, of typically how many unforced errors do you make in a match? I think the... Uh, Japanese pair here will be falling well short of their own average. But now they have three game points. 20, game point, 17. The Danes have been aggressive and assertive here. I think they've had a really good first game, but for the Japanese to be ahead at this stage and obviously on game points, without being at their best. Or anywhere near it, to be honest. Yeah, it bodes really well for the rest of the match for them, I think. They can improve quite a bit in this match. It's 
It's going wide. So, 24 minutes of play and 21-17. First game goes to the Japanese pair. Doesn't quite tell the whole story. But have the Danes got anything left? One love, Japan Lee. Yeah, So the Danes playing catch up here. And you would think, in all likelihood, that the Japanese pair will uh, improve a little bit in that first game, even though they won it. That's a wild one, though. Really poor shot from Uenega. Nicely steered into the space by Naganishi. I'm really intrigued to see how this change of ends might affect uh, an outcome here, or whether it stays like the first. smash straight down the line
happy looking coaches too. Front foot again from Fergard. Really like the way that she's getting into that net here. It's one fall to the mind. Yeah, she slapped that forehand down the line and then she's looking forward. Her attack so far has been um, been getting a uh, getting through the Japanese. Frugal, back to her opponent when she watches that uh, fall outside the line. Unsighted by the umpire, I think, as well. I like this. We're still here. It is not over just yet. Watch this. Oh, you can't see it. What a shame. Like a boxer at the weigh-in, you know what I mean? Yeah, you try to psych out your opponent before you even lay the punch, don't you? Yeah. But they're certainly making the seeded pair work here. Throw a guard and two of Could easily have taken the first game in different circumstances, and they're on terms now in this one. A similar start, wasn't it, in the first game? Dane's looking confident from the start. When it got, uh, when it really mattered, though, this Japanese pair showed their class. I think. Sarah Tuerson pushing the net early. Almost uh, came off as well. There's a confidence about these Danes. Trying to get on the attack very early in the rally. Very positive. Oh. 
not sure who celebrated the louder then, Morgan Fruegard or the uh, audience. <laughs> I think it was her. <laughs> Oof, look at that reaction. Fired up she is. Look how close Sara Tursen is to the net. She's just waiting to pounce on any block. Here she goes. Doesn't get there. She's on service line. She's in front of service line. Was a canny piece of placement. Yeah, nice shot. I think Frugal went a bit too firm. Could have laid that off to hold the attack. She tried to go for the all-out winner. And got caught out. That was a poor leave, though. Ewan Agar, I think, knew her shot was going wide. Yeah. And it put that doubt in her own mind. The shot came back quite straight, whether the drift brought it back in, I'm not sure. That was the one. That yeah. had to be out. And that had to be in. Nothing between these pairs again. None in all. Cry again from Frugard. They're hunting that net. The Japanese, I'm surprised they're not more aware of that and just keep going back into the rear corners. So they've got a two point lead. Well, every chance from here of extending this match. It's not convincing for the Japanese at all so far. I think they were reasonably lucky to uh, take the first. Yeah, I think they've actually been well below what we would normally expect from them. Eleven, nine. Play. Wait, coach, coach, coach. 
play. Another long rally. Well watched. Service over. Ten. Eleven. Well, that was a cheap point for the Danes. Serving above 1.15 metres. Eagle-eyed service Hold. judge, Emmanuel Hold. Hold. Play. Save. Great return of serve. And well watched. Tell you what, the Danes are getting rewarded for their uh, positive approach here. Well, well, they're just a better pair. I mean, I think they were almost a better pair in the first game, even though they lost it. Sometimes the result doesn't necessarily match the dominance of the play, but they're Apparently getting their just reward in the second game. Look at Tursen diving forwards again. That's good, though. Japanese refusing to put pace on the shuttle when they've got the chance from the rear court. And for that reason, they lose the attack. I think they're intimidated by the power of the Danes. Well, if they hit hard first, especially if they're on the slower end now, then they can get counter-attacked quickly. So they're using drop shots and clears, but those are easy to combat for the Danes so far. I'm not sure the uh, Japanese like what they're uh, opposing here. I don't think they like the Danish style. It's causing them loads of problems. Well, as we mentioned at the start, only five point, uh, five places between these pairs in the rankings. So, you know, if Japanese haven't performed so far, you're going to have a problem. Just because you're the seeded pair doesn't mean a lot. <laughs> Great touch at pace. It's going wide. I think two of them was in the air here when she hit that shot. You certainly cannot question the Danish pair's total commitment. Yeah, she was. She's off the floor. <laughs> no, it's like this is our game plan. We're sticking to it. And um, certainly in this game, it's working pretty well.
Another feeble shot on the Japanese side of the net. And they're in trouble here in this second game. The Danes do come through this one and force a decider. They'll finish the match on that same side of the court where they're looking dominant. That'll bode well for Danish confidence. Broken string there, I think. No? I don't think it was. I think it was just a Miss poor hit. contact, yeah. yeah. was long, but it's still a long way back for Imanaga and Nakanishi. Defence from Frugard. Outstretched though. I think Tuerson was meant to take that one. Push forward. 13, Just feels like the Danes have played way more winners than the Japanese pair. Even though they've won roughly the same number of points in the match. Good from Sarah Tuerson again, and they're closing in here. They can just keep their concentration. in the mid-court. That's what the Japanese have been avoiding for the most part. Or trying to, anyway. Too easy for Fulgard, who did well, but it was poor from the Japanese. 19-14. Nakanishi, I think it is. Played it straight onto a racket. Too little, too late, you'd think. Over, 
Well, that's a nice piece of placement. 4 chances to level the match to Fergard and to Asun. I don't understand the strategy here. I'm not sure they even have one, the Japanese. It's been effective from the Danes and they've been really good at it so far. <laughs> I think she's trying to hit that too hard. You heard the groan from the arena. Yeah. Oh. Two save, two to go. That was patient from Iwanaga. By the time, waited for that uh, opportunity half court. Yeah, and there was nothing short. There was nothing that allowed either Tursen or Frugal to, to get in towards that net and to do the kind of damage they've inflicted for most of this game. Well, now it gets a little nervy. Can they convert match point? No, uh, sorry, game point number four. going over the top of Frugard. And that's what I thought they should have been doing earlier, because they're advancing on the net so early in the rally, the Danes, go over the top of them. If one goes to the front of the net, the other one's got to go in the middle, which means both rear corners are open. And they haven't been exploiting that. Somehow they've clawed it back to 20 all, though, Trevor. It would be a huge get-out-of-jail card, wouldn't it? But still, plenty of work to do. And now they've got to save another game point the Japanese it would almost feel unfair wouldn't it if, if the uh, Japanese pair win this game we're, we're completely neutral but just on the balance of play in this particular game you feel the Danes deserve it but you don't always get what you deserve they've got another chance here I thought they deserved the first to be honest yeah yeah four game points Fritted away so far. Here's another one. That might have been wide. Well, they have got it. 22 20, and we are going to have a decider. And I tell you what, the seeded pair, Imanaga and Nakanishi, are going to have to raise this, otherwise, they're heading out potentially. They just need to be better at what typically Japanese women's doubles pairs are always good at. Yeah. Okay. 
Ja. Som jeg siger, at hun tager fedt løft mig op til ja. at springe, selvom man ikke bare skærer den. Så husk det. Bare det. Når det bliver kedeligt, så vil det søge langt kort, langt kort. To, tre lange, og så ligger det i den anden kort. Man, man bliver nødt til at stole på, at markeren selv kan klare det. Ja, men mindre man råber ud. Ja. Og så skal klieren med at spille der. Ja. Okay? Men prøv at høre, som vi snakker om, at du ikke starter der, hvor du kan påvirke det til den lille bane. Så skal vi gøre det. Vi, skal, vi, skal lidt op. vi har vi kan godt forbedre os en lille smule på returerne her. Ja, ikke? Og så bliver ved med at have is i maven og dreje de saver, så vi får det, vi gerne vil have. Nej, det er jo en gang, hun svipper yes. med højde på. Den anden, hun svipper lidt flot. Men kan vi leve med, at der kommer en svip, hvis der er? Okay, skal vi leve med det? Ja, okay. det er stadig med at prøve på. Nu må vi se, at der er en svip, hvis Okay. Det er den, vi har svært ved at komme ud af. Og ja. så er ikke med den nye bold. Husk nu, saverne her ligger de godt, så kommer de til bagmand hele tiden. Ja. Du tager rigtig godt for at komme til bagmand. Det skal du, og der er også plads til en krydse mere. Men det er, det, det er her, vi skal prøve at spille. Kommer de ud af det, så er det forfra. Okay? Jeg synes faktisk bare, at der er en til at hvis vi også er langt fremme. Vi har blivet den, men det er meget helt nødvendigt. Ja, det er også det, vi skal prøve på. Ja, det er præcis. Final game. Love all. Play. I don't have any Japanese for me, but I would love to know what their message was during that that break because they can't have been happy what they were watching. They they stuck to their guns between games one and two. They looked the same, and quite frankly, I think they got away with it in the first. They didn't deserve it, and I think um, it was at least the right result in the second, and perhaps should have been a bit more comfortable for the Danish pair. So uh, if they don't have a huge change of tactics or at least some kind of strategy to combat what the Danes are clearly doing, it's quite simple, then they're fools, in my opinion. I think in simple terms they've got two options. One is to uh, be super defensive. As soon as one of them has a chance of coming forwards, go back into the rear corners and with a bit more height and just defend. Or take the Danish on at what they're doing. Go super attacking and try and get to the net first themselves. Because at the moment they're kind of in no man's land tactically, aren't they? Yeah. It's a real team effort, isn't it? <laughs> Just it's like a cartoon, animated. Yeah. You you don't need the Japanese to understand the message to you.
Just beyond the back line. Trying to apply immediate pressure, Nakanishi. They are looking a bit more um, assertive, the Japanese pair, so far. how to get the job done. Coach. Hi. Wait. Wait. Oh. Well, she's had a word with the coach. We don't need to bring the referee in. Japanese coach being um, accused of talking to his players during the rally. It was a, a polite but pretty firm warning there, wasn't it, from former referee? And to be fair, he, he acknowledged straight away. And seemed to infer it wouldn't happen again. Meanwhile, building up nicely in this decider. Don't think that's the first time he's had that warning, that coach, actually. It's just habit for some people, isn't it? You know, it's just the way your nature, you want to try and get your message across. Nice attack. Here, here, here. Play. Well, once again, all, all four of them have been pretty slow serving, I think. Japanese in particular. <laughs> Superb from Tursen. They're just uh, trading points at the moment, aren't they? Neither pair really get a, a stranglehold so far on this final game. It's been like that throughout, hasn't it, really? I mean, the point for point. Big chance, big chance missed. good from the Japanese using the width of the courts in the middle of the rally and tying up Mike and Frugard oh. 
Röten. Wonderful from the Danish pet. Service over. Two of them relentless in attack from the very start. Taking it as early as possible. And both of them pushing forwards. Challenge. I think at this stage, anything that looks adjacent, you ask the question, don't you? Because you've got two in each game, so let's see where we go here. Oh, flash on my light. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Was that the first point since we've seen that challenge? It is, isn't it? Yep. This is taking uh, quite a bit of time in between. So I think, I think the Japanese in particular culpable in that regard. Brilliant again. If you watched this match without looking at the score, you'd be amazed that uh, the Danes are still behind. Well, that's a bit careless. So 11-8. Japanese pair lead after an hour and eight minutes on court. Two of them was waiting there to serve. And halfway through, Nakanishi decides to go and give a little high five to a partner and then resets all and it's just dragging this out when you can't get a run of momentum. <laughs>
Well, both the Danes were pushing forwards, expecting the layoff to net. They got caught out, but... Well placed. That was the only thing that was going to get uh, Furukun back on the attack and hold it. Was the placement. Works in golf, it works in badminton double, straight down the middle. Just keeping themselves in touch. shot was a bit poor could have gone down the line with that at any pace and she would have been in no danger Poor about that. Demolished at the net by Tuerson. Yeah, straightforward attack. And the fact there was no reaction from the coaching staff means that's what they're expected to do there. Just go out and do it. Shot, that's all that took. Service over. Nice shot. 14. Oh. Yeah, it was that one. She had the chance to take the shuttle early and uh, get there and take it straight away. Instead, she tried to be deceptive. Well, to reorganise themselves there, Danish pair, because they were completely out of position at one point in that rally. Well, another friendly warning from the umpire. But you're right, they, uh, it's because they're hunting that net, somebody's going. And then if the Japanese play the right shot at the right time, the Danish, the Danish gamble has not paid off, so to speak. So they, they've actually done well to get away with that. Ladies, please, no, both get ready, play. Just way too much time. Another friendly warning. Like Fabio Lopez did earlier, though, the next one might actually get carded if, uh, if they keep this up. 13, 14. That's true, but then that's almost like another warning, isn't it? There's no penalty. Well, plus, we're late in the third. Exactly. The point now. Exactly. and wanted uh, Furugar to step in for that net shot. <laughs> Service over. 
You could just feel the frustration on the Danish side of the net there, couldn't you? So he actually set that up pretty well. Uh, she was disgusted with herself for missing that. There's plenty to enjoy for the Danish fans, the way these two are playing. And I'm sure anybody at home watching as well, they're wearing their hearts on their sleeves and they're going for it. And uh, you can't knock that. They're still trailing, though. It's un <laughs> unbelievable, really. Just rewards, I think. Yeah. They won't care about the net court. Back within a point. Service over. 14, 15. There's just a pace of the shuttle on that. that then it bounce off and go over rather than come back. But they will certainly take it. Play? The way they play is just nicer. It's admirable. It's nicer to watch, in my opinion. If you offered me a player or a pair that attacked to win points versus a player or pair that their defence wins the points, I'd rather watch the attack all day long. Surely most people around the world would. I think that philosophy kind of in almost in any sport. So, really heating up now. 15 all in the decider. Yeah, you're right, Trevor. Any sport. It's whether uh, by parking the bus in defence, this Japanese pair, I wonder whether they've got a big enough bus. <laughs> Service over 16, 15. <laughs> That's got a hurt. You're like a double decker. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just spans the width of the court. Oh, what a time to throw that in. But there's a lot of uh, pressure out there. Right at the business end of the deciding game. Nice cut out from Frugard. Brilliant defence from the Japanese at times in the rally. Wonderful. Well, that was a hard-fought rally that the Danes, who couldn't get through with their attack after five or six tries at the start, had to defend, and they did that well as well. And then they just stayed patient, got the attack back in the end. Yeah, patience really was a virtue. things are going uh, the only way that the Japanese pair are going to win this are, are basically on those kind of errors because they're not doing very much offensively at all no they that previous rally they they tried on occasion but it was neutralized quickly The big shout of Kamnu from Tursen. Ah! 
That's it's wide. wide. And now they're in front. Trevor, it's our job to stay neutral, but every part of me feels the Danish deserve this win. Yeah, I agree. And the crowd really getting engaged with this now. They have been all the way through. Been playing for uh, the best part of an hour and a half. Just long. Just. Service over. 18 all. It's in. Well, there's a challenge. I think anything vaguely close would be challenged at this point, wouldn't it? What a big decision this is for Hawkeye. <laughs> Is it surprising that the reaction was Fight. absolutely instant from the from the line judge, who we assume is Danish? <laughs> challenge successful. One challenge remaining. Absolutely so spot on with the decision. 19-18. Now, when they got themselves a level a few points ago, it was a service error from. Tuerson. A lot of pressure on this uh, through a guard serve. Especially in the unorthodox way in which she delivers it. It's going wide. Here we go. Well, still not even a card. I mean, that kind of a warning is utterly meaningless at this stage. Well, it is. I mean, even if she had got carded, the fact is there's only a few points left in the match after nearly an hour and a half. What difference it would have made if that would have been enforced in game one and they could have sped up throughout the rest of the match because you can't risk a red card and lose points. Well, wow. finally, they show some emotion. They've been smiling through most of it, the Japanese pair. They've got a match point here. <laughs> Just by taking this back to setting, extra points would erupt. This Danish crowd. And they have taken it to 20 all. starting to buzz. Oh. Well play smash that. Service over 21 20. Second chance then for Imanaga and Nakanishi. Hey. 
This is now becoming a little silly. These delays in serve. That's superb from Tourison. And that's yeah. what they think about it. Where well, Tourison might get caught out occasionally in defence. Their attack. Brilliant. frustrating for Tourson and for the crowd as well not for those two all those third chance no, it's, in. it's in and that is the end of it 23-21, a very fortunate win, you'd have to say, for Iwanaga and Nakanishi. The Danes had their chances, but fell short in the end. Couldn't quite take the pressure, I don't think. A few errors crept in right at the death, and they will exit this women's doubles at the second round stage. You have to think, though, for Iwanaga and Nakanishi, it would be a huge improvement for them to go that much further in these championships. I feel slightly heartbroken for, for the Danes here. They played with a style that was admirable and an intensity that uh, I feel should have got through. Fortunate, I think, for the Japanese pair. It's a numbers game, though, and here they are, 21-17. 2022, 23, 21. Nearly an hour and a half on court, and it's the Japanese pair who go into the third round. Well, we've had four doubles matches so far. We're going to switch things around a little bit next. One of the biggest names in world badminton on stage in a couple of minutes, Sakana Yamaguchi, defending world champion. Up against the Turk, Neslihan Arin. That's coming next.
I recognise him from somewhere. <laughs> Plenty of smiles around the uh, arena today. Third day of action. You see, everyone wants a photo. If you walk past him, you just have to have a photo. Though. So we're moving on to the fifth match on court one today. And it, uh, as I say, features Akana Yamaguchi, always brilliant to watch. World champion for the last two years. Up against uh, Nesli Hanarin of Turkey. 